say praise the Lord again, everyone. Let us all stand and go before the Lord in prayer. Amen. And while we're praying, we would like the church to remember these prayer requests that were submitted. We want to pray for uh, Vicki White. We're praying for her, uh, for the White family, and for the loss of their two-month-old grandchild. Amen. And also we're praying for Christina McCart. She said to uh, please pray for the church to pray for her, to help, uh, for God to help her, uh, help her and give her strength to make it through school and through work. Amen? Amen. And also, uh, this is a prayer request sent, uh, submitted by Brother and Sister Nelson, uh, yeah, Nelson and uh, grandchildren, praying for the salvation and healing of their family, and also get, uh, God will give uh, God's grace and strength for Brother Nelson to complete welding school. Amen. Amen. And we, I truly believe that Brother Nelson will complete welding school. Amen. 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 We're also praying for jo uh, Joshua Black, and we're praying for the success of the stem cell replacement, and God will give him gain, that he will regain uh, some use of his arms and legs. Amen. Submitted by Sister Vicki Harris. Amen. And also, we're going to pray for Brother John Harris' salvation. Amen. This is the husband and sister Vicki Harris. Praying for the Lowry family. Amen. Amen. And also we'd like to remember the Ricks family in their time of loss and bereavement. Amen. And let's all remember the Ricks. Uh, sister Ricks lost her one of her brothers. So please uh, keep the family in prayer. Yes, yes, sir. Amen. Let's all bow our heads in prayer. Oh Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for this opportunity, Lord, to come before your throne of grace to receive mercy and help in times of trouble. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for all that you have done and all that you're going to do in our lives. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for blessing us, Lord, just with a mind and desire, Lord, to press our way out to the house of God this evening. Lord, I want to thank you for the water baptism in your precious name and the energy of the Holy Ghost, Lord. For all your wonderful blessings that you have restored upon us, Lord, for your grace and mercy, which is new every morning, Lord. Lord, I want to ask, Lord, to put all these prayer requests that have been submitted before you, Lord. Lord, I want to ask, Lord, to move in each and every one of these requests according to your will. Strengthen all those that need to be strengthened. Lord Jesus, bless all those that need to be conquered, Lord. Lord Jesus, heal all those that need to be healed, Lord. Touch them with your fear of love from the crown of their heads to the soul of their feet. Lord, I want to ask, Lord, to be with us in this service, Lord, right now. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for your presence that we feel right now in the sanctuary. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for the word that you're about to send on from heaven, Lord, that will take root in our hearts, Lord Jesus. And Lord, we come to give your name, the praise, and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.
Amen, amen. I feel bad with you this morning, this, day, this evening. Amen. I feel I thank the Lord for his presence. I want to thank the Lord for the first time I can pray with choir to help us in in his presence. At this time, we'd like for the prayer hearts to give. And we'd like for us to come to uh, receive this evening's offering. And uh, I have one quick announcement. Amen. Uh, it says, uh, on a mission, this is from the Women's Auxiliary Department of Newburgh Tabernacle, UP. See, I, we are, this is our uh, annual Sheets for Christ fundraiser. Amen. And coming up this Sunday, September 6th, we'll be having a special auction for two cakes. Or up for auction, we have a German chocolate cake up for auction. Auction and a lemon berry uh, mm -hmm. rum cake that is up for auction. Amen. And also, they'll be selling cookies and cupcakes for $1.50. Now, this is for Sheets for Christ offering. And, this, and the Sheets for Christ go to support new churches and new pastors, amen? Uh, it helped uh, new churches and new pastors get started. It also helped uh, missionaries with refrigerators, washers, and dryers. And there are just, these are just a few of the, uh, of the items that She's for Christ supports. So please, everybody, come in and support She's for Christ, amen? Amen. amen. Ms. Allen, please bless the offer. Jesus, we thank you for your blessing. Thank you, Lord, for your spirit Pastor. I said I'm going to the enemy.
kingdom of heaven suffered by Come on. Violent taken force. Amen. Anybody got to be fighting them tonight? Come on. Tried to take my peace. Come on. Come on. Amen. He's tried to mess up my home. Anybody got to fight in the tonight? I'm going to the enemy's camp. I'm taking back everything.
you know, and the one piece of that uh, whole chapter is he restored my soul. Yeah. I just thank you, praise Lord, because sometimes, the, you know, like the scripture said, you get weary, you look at how the world is operating, and it, and it should grieve you, you know, because people are just being so horrible to each other. And I just thank you, praise the Lord, that he restored my soul. Yeah. And anytime I get to that point where I'm like, Lord, it's just, you know, you don't know how you're going to keep going on, you know, you want the Lord to come on back, you know, you're ready. It's just like, it's going to get me out of here. But I say, praise the Lord, because he will come along and he will restore my soul, oh, yeah. restore that joy, yeah. restore that peace, oh, you know. I, I just say, praise the Lord, for just being a good, good God in front of the Holy Ghost that has you a sound mind. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Praise the Lord. I want to invite your attention to Jeremiah 29 and 11, and 1 Peter 2 and 9, and the last verse, Sister Nate spoken.
and it, it can be summed up in the words of sanctification, holiness. There are people that in this world actually despise holy robes. Yes, they do. Yeah, yeah they do. Y'all too strict. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Yes. Uh huh. And you know, it's really something that. Uh, when we were out there in the world and doing all kinds of crazy stupid stuff. Everybody just loved on us. Yeah. Yeah. But then when you began to go through the sanctification process, right, yeah. Yeah. you didn't went too far. Yeah. 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 Right. Come on, preacher. Come on, preacher. Yeah. Come on. If you have never been certain of the term meaning you are not alone. Yeah. Many Christians are unclear about its definition. Uh -huh. However, believers should understand it because the word is defined, it defines us. In its verb form, sanctify. Sanctify. The term means to make holy. To make holy. Or separate. To separate. Go ahead. You see, we are not to be like the world. Uh huh. Oh yes. Amen. Right. Amen. Go ahead and preach. Amen. People just don't understand how important it is to allow yourself to become sanctified. Yes, sir. But the moment someone chooses to trust in Jesus Christ and obey the gospel, amen, the gospel message, his sins are wiped away. He's forgiven, and he is adopted into God's family. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Now I, I have a family. Mm -hmm. I have brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Amen. And uh, I appreciate them love them, but I'm part of a sanctified family. A sanctified family. We are called out. Yes. We are called out. Yes. Called out. Amen. When something is sanctified, uh -huh. it is separated. Uh -huh. From its former common usage Come on. and is dedicated uh -huh. for a sacred purpose. For a sacred purpose. Uh huh. Oh, yes. A sacred purpose. Please don't look down on being called out uh -huh. of the world. Uh huh. Amen. To actually go through the sanctification. That's the right thing, man. There's some things that I used to do I don't do anymore. We don't do it no more. Because we're sanctified. My conversation is different. Uh huh. Oh, yes. Amen. I'm careful with my thoughts. That's right, Pastor. Amen. You got to be careful. Part of hopeless is about your thoughts. Come on, boy. Uh -huh. Your thoughts, uh -huh. how you see yourself, uh -huh. oh, yeah. and how you see others. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. Amen. Because how you think, uh -huh. that's how you're going to run your life. Well, yes. Yes. So you have, when you get to the church, you got to think, 
of the sanctification process. Yeah. Yeah. In other words, God called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Yeah. Amen. To be a holy people. Yeah. A peculiar people. The Old Testament mentioned a number of things that the Lord sanctified. Yes, he did. He made the seventh day holy. Yes, he did. He set aside the Levite tribe as priests uh -huh. and even consecrated places like at the holiest of holies inside the first tabernacle. Amen. This is a sanctified place right yes. here. Amen. Yes, it is. Hello? Yes, right. This is a sanctified yes, place. Yes. Set aside. Yes. We don't gamble here. Uh, we don't drink. Amen. We don't smoke. Yeah. Right. And we don't cuss in here. Yeah. Right. Hello. Amen. When you come into the house of God, amen, this place has to set aside. Oh, yes. It's sanctified. Right. It's, sanctified. Amen. it's for God's purpose. We don't have dances. We don't have dances. And we don't bring dancers in here. In here. Amen. amen. You see in the world today, many churches, they bring in the girls with lead ties on and they get up and shake their butt. Yuck. Hello? Well, amen. I find no way in the Bible that's right. Well, if this is a sanctified place, we gotta be careful what we do in it. Right. This is the place where we meet God and worship the Lord. We praise him right now. Hallelujah. God's got to help us. Mm -hmm. Amen. This is set aside for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A life of a Christian mm -hmm. is set apart. The Lord still sanctifies people today. Right. Before a person places faith in the Savior, amen, it's important. As you place your faith in the Savior, you repent, you get baptized in his name and filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 You see, you were spiritually dead. In fact, you were an enemy of God. Right. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. You were. Our society Talk about it. is filled of Folks running, oh yeah, they they physically alive. Right. But they are spiritually dead. Dead. They're walking dead. But the moment someone chooses to trust in Jesus Christ and obey the gospel message, oh, yeah. his sins are wiped away. He's forgiven and he's adopted into the most precious family, the family of God. That individual was set apart as a child of God with a sacred purpose. It's so important to realize that we are considered to be a special people. Hello? A peculiar people. Different than the world. And we ought to be concerned about how we dress and how we look. Amen. That's so very important to realize God has separated us for his purpose. This means that believers are here, amen, to, are here to chase after, and not here to chase after personal gains. That's right. But to serve the Lord and bring him honor yes. and glory. Yes. You know, it's, people have a 
tendency a lot of times when you reveal to them standards of holiness they can say oh man that's too tight it's tight but it's right some of the most beautiful women in the world are apostolic women and some of the most I would say outstanding men That's right. are apostolic men That's right. you're valuable you are valuable you set apart. That's right. God looked down and said, Look here, this is one. This is one. This is mine. Uh huh. He got a plan for you. That's right. Come on. He sees nothing but excellent things in your life. Don't be ashamed of being apostolic. We are not to look like the world or act like the world. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, this means believers must live a holy life. Yes. Mm -hmm. No lying, no cheating. Well, mm -hmm. well, well, well. Careful without thoughts. Careful without thoughts. Thinking about what we should actually wear. Hello. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, we have to, you know, it, it's really something that when you begin to see yourself as a holy people, you are to be careful how you reveal yourself. Do you know, ladies? They're dressing holy. They bring honor mm -hmm. to God. Yes. yes. Hello? Amen. Just by the way you dress. Yes. Yes. Hello? Amen. Even down to not cut your hair. Yes. Do you know that's bringing honor to the Lord? Right. right. Young men in stress and approach. Right. Having the right conversation. Yes, that's yeah. right. That's right. You bring honor to God. That's right. Yes. 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 It, it's not the past. You don't bring honor to me. God sets you apart. Yes. Yes. We're chosen people. Chosen. Yeah. We belong to a royal family. Members of God's family who are called upon to reflect glory. Believers are referred to be saints. Yeah. Now there's some saints out there. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. But in order to be, be a saint, yeah. you gotta be willing to go to the sanctification process Amen. that the Lord has laid out yes. in the Word of God. Yes. And you can't be holy to commit fornication. Lying. Deceiving folk. Hello? Yes. You done came off the wheel. And the only way to get back on the wheel, you gotta repent. That's right. That's true. Yes, it is. You gotta surrender your life to the Lord. Yes, yes. This calling that we have is a holy calling. Yes. yes. Amen. Amen. You see, we are given this special title or name, which Sarah shares its roots with the sanctification. Not because
because we live sinless lives, but because we live a life consistent with the one who we represent. Hello? You know, my kids, before they went to school, yeah. we checked them out with the hair on. Hello? Amen. Because when they went to school, they represent me and my wife. Hello? Yes. Not only represent me and my wife, but they represented the Lord. Amen. Some people have a tendency not to look at even their children or how they actually are dressed. What are a little six, seven-year-old darling doing with lipstick on and earrings? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Mm -hmm. Preach, preach. Yeah. They teaching them why they in their youth that they are, are not valuable. That's right. That's right. Amen. They value what they look like. Hello? That's right. And that goes on. That goes on. That's right. Becoming a teenager and goes on. That Becoming goes on. Adult. Including adult. We're valuable. Yes. Yes. Like we are. Amen. Yes. We don't need to add anything. Just be thankful for what the Lord has done in our lives and how we actually are. Peter makes a powerful statement in 1 and 16 because it's written, be ye holy for I am holy. When you look out through the scripture, there are men that were set apart for God's purpose. Joseph, considered to be a type of Christ because he lived a sinless life. He understood his purpose. He brought honor and glory to the Lord. Amen. He refused to sin. And then we look at the three Hebrew boys who were thrown in the fire furnace. Because they took a stand. In other words, Living for God, living holy, you got to take a stand. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. In the book of Deuteronomy, it talks about women should not wear the pearls of a, a man, right? That's right. And it's fine, it's not. We make the rules. The rules is it's the word of God. Praise God. It's amazing how a woman's mannerism can change by the clothes that she got on. Right. Hello? Right. Look at the mannerism of someone that's got a slit all up there and showing everything. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's all right. Amen. Praise God. But when you dress appropriate, you act appropriate. You act appropriate. Yes. Right. Amen. Amen. That's right, preacher. Praise God. It's so important to realize that God had set you apart. Amen. Not for your purpose. Right. But his purpose. For his purpose. For us to bring glory and honor to him. Would you lift your hands and love the Lord? Yeah. Yeah. Don't get quiet over here, man. Come on. I'm ready to worship the Lord off of this right now. Hallelujah. 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 H
No more. I'm cutting it off right now. Don't even play with it no more. You know, we have a tendency after we know what's right, the Word of God is brought to our attention. We procrastinate sometimes. But we must be reminded that we belong to a special family. Hello? We belong to a special family. And it's such an honor and a privilege that God chose you. Even for us, what a stand he took. And because of the stand they took, they still, they're dead and gone, but they still bring honor and glory That's right. to God. Yeah. And David messed up, and he paid for it. But God loved him because he was a man after his own heart. And God knows where your heart is supposed to Yes, he does. He knows where your heart is. Yes, he does. And because David's heart was bent towards God, even after he had committed a sin, the Lord to send a man of God to identify his sin. For David understood that he was set apart for God's purpose. And he realized if he was going to bring honor and glory to God, he had to repent. And David repented. And you could discover his heart in the song. He opened his heart to the Lord. Praise God. Would you stand? There are times being a Christian that we ought to be concerned and ask ourselves the question are we doing our best to live holy? Every believer has got a certain place in their walk with God. You see, sanctification is a process. As you live for God, going through that process, there are things begin to change in your life. Your priorities are different. Yes. Yes. And the 
reason they're different because you have realized that God has called you out of darkness and he's called us light to be his people. I want you to lift up your hand and thank the Lord out of your life. Thank you, Jesus. That's, that's really something. He, he have chose us. He has adopted us into his